completely normal at 18 not to know what you want to do with your life. All right? Just so you will know. Almost nobody at 18 knows what they want to do with their life. So don't worry about that. I can't use my life as an example. My my older son told me this at a, when in his 20s. He said, Dad, you were unbelievably lucky. You knew at 15 what you wanted to do with your life. And he was right. I wrote it in my diary. To influence people to the good. Those were the words I used. I, I have been motivated in one direction since... Uh, since my early or mid-teens. Uh, that was, I'm, I'm very abnormal in that way, and I fully recognize that. I, I don't think, as much as I said it is totally normal not to know, 50 or 100, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, I don't think 18-year-olds were as plagued by this question as they are today. This is a new question. What am I going to do with my life is a new question. So as normal as it is, which is how I began my answer, it happens to be new, relatively speaking, in in human uh, history. People knew exactly what they wanted to do with their life. They wanted to get married. They wanted to make a family. They wanted to be part of a community. Uh, They wanted to make a living. And that was really fulfilling stuff. But everything that I just mentioned, except make a living, earn a living, uh, has been debunked, has been derided. I've often said, if a girl got up in a college class, the issue were raised, what's the most important thing for you in your future? And some girl got up, 20-year-old young woman gets up in class. Well, frankly, as much as I, I uh, want to pursue a career, by far the most important thing in my life is to find a good man and marry him and make a family. Uh, th- to say that today on almost any college campus or certainly in a high school classroom, is to, pr- is to risk universal mockery. Whereas, ha- had you said that 100 years ago, 200, 400, 700, 900 years ago, people would have yawned. Of course, makes perfect sense. You want to find a good man to marry. You, you're a man, you want to find a good woman to marry. Yes, I'm well aware that for gay people, that is not necessarily an option or indeed not an option at all. I'm not talking about the 3% of society that is gay. And I hope that they do find a partner for their life. It's not good to be alone, whether you're gay or straight. However, for the vast majority of people, it is ideal to find a member of the opposite sex and to marry and to make a family if possible.